Okay, books I've read in March 2022. And I've just finished doing a yin yoga live stream for my empath sanctuary people, hence my yoga stuff. But I just thought, because I've just finished reading this book, so I thought I would pop in and do a really quick review now. So, um, Anatomy of the Spirit by Carolyn Miss is the first book that I read in March 2022. And um, I say read because I read half of it, <laughs> which kind of lets you know what I think of this book. So the premise of this book is um, Carolyn has compared or, or I guess, um, so she's taken the seven chakras of the Hindu chakra system. And she has shown how they correlate to the Kabbalah rites and also to um, the the Christian seven Christian sacraments. So, um, yeah. So, <laughs> uh, look, it's well written. There's no no doubt that Carolyn Miss knows what she's talking about. It's just there are moments in there where I feel like uh, it's. It's written from the perspective of someone who hasn't endured some of the things that children have endured. It sounds, um, well, there, there's a part in it, let me tell you. She's, she basically says that we choose um, our parents based, based on the lessons that we need to learn in life. And I think that's a valid point, except... Um, some people destroy children completely. Do we actually choose that? Is that actually a lesson to learn? I don't know. It just seems very, um, from a very privileged, written from a very privileged mindset. Anyway, um, I also don't really see the point as to why we need to see why the chakra system correlates with other religions. I don't get it. The chakra system works. End of story. We need to compare and add to it. It seems, I don't know. I just, I just didn't really enjoy it. So I got about halfway through and um, because my, my rule for 2022 is that life is too short to um, struggle through reading books that you're not enjoying. So I got halfway through it and I put it down. Now I am I'm not going to give this a rating because it is a well-written book. It's just that I don't enjoy it. But if you are interested in learning how other religions could fit into the chakra system as a way to empower yourself and be a um, strong human being in the world, then try this book. Uh, but if you feel that the chakras stand for themselves and <laughs> don't need any further uh, explanation, then maybe give it a miss. So anyway, that is my first book review of books that I have read in March 22. So remember last month in my book review when I showed you a Mary Oliver poetry book that I said I had read three times? Well, <laughs> books that I read in March 2022, Mary Oliver features again this book, I don't know how she does it. I think this one, Evidence, is even better than uh, the one that I was reading last last month, which I've read three times, called A Thousand Mornings. So goodness knows how many times I'm going to read this. But again, one poem every morning. And I'll be honest with you, I was reading more than one poem in this book because they're just so magical. I don't know how she does it. Well, I do. She writes about nature and who doesn't love nature? So uh, they just lift my spirits. So honestly, even if you're not a poetry lover, the thing that I have learned is that you don't have to um, understand every single word. You read poetry for the feelings that it invokes in you. And Mary Oliver lifts your heart. So if you are in need of some heart lifting and let's face it who isn't and you're an empath and you're a nature lover do yourself a favor go to the library and get this book and i guarantee that just like me you will get it from the library and then you will hit your favorite bookstore and grab it for yourself 
I give this six out of five. Okay, and here is the final book that I read in March 2022. It's called The Witch's Herbal Apothecary by Mauritia Mirnowska. I really hope I pronounced that properly. So this absolutely gorgeous book was recommended to me from one of the beautiful women in my priestess coven group. Now, this book is so good. <laughs> so as the name implies, it's a book all about herbs. It's full of rituals and practices and uh, ways of celebrating the wheel of the year, each season of the year in a really, um, uh, well, earth honoring way. So I wanted this book because I am on this mad tangent at the moment, learning about using plants as medicine. So I ordered it and I was all excited about all these new rituals that I was going to learn and all this witchy stuff. But it was, it's so much more than that. Yes, there are many rituals and practices that will connect you to the earth. There are lots of permaculture tips. There are really comprehensive um, guides on different herbs and how you can use them for medicine and for food and just for generally enhancing your life. All of that is there, but there's also just this beautiful uh, honoring of yourself and the earth. There, it's just, uh, there are so many things in here that have connected me back to my own natural rhythms, my own natural cycles and how they fit in with the seasons of the year. She brings the wheel of the year down from a yearly thing to a monthly thing and then to a daily thing. So you can actually really uh, connect with who you are and how your body and mind works on a daily basis. It is phenomenal, phenomenal. Look, if you have any, if you like, if you look at the title and go, oh, it's for witches, forget that, forget that. If you are interested in practices that honor our beautiful earth, if you are interested in connecting to the earth and living a much more holistic, connected, nature filled life, then honestly, get yourself this book. This was a six out of five. Um, I'm just going to be dipping into this book and reading from it over and over again. Yeah, amazing book. So they were the books that I read in March 2022. I hope um, they inspire you to read something different, something out of the norm this month coming. All right. Thank you so much for joining me. If you enjoyed this, I will be doing a video like this at least once a month. So continue to su consider subscribing. Namaste.